Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Gyan Sampada. In some of our previous classes, we have studied the theoretical background behind the deposition of thin films. And in today's video, we are going to see how a thin film can be deposited in normal laboratory conditions with minimum equipments. So we are going to see how we can deposit or synthesize cadmium sulfide thin films. So for this, the precursors used are cadmium chloride, thiurea, ammonium chloride and EDTA. And for doping, copper chloride and cobalt chloride are used. In order to deposit a thin film, we need to prepare corresponding solutions of these precursors. And one thing we need to keep in mind is the molarity so that we will get a uniform thin film. And for synthesis of serious thin films, two solutions are prepared, solution A and solution B, where solution A consists of ammonium chloride with cadmium chloride, which acts as a cadmium source and ammonium hydroxide is added dropwise to maintain the pH of the solution to 12. And maintaining the pH of the solution is a main criteria for getting a uniform thin film. Then in serious thin film, another source is the sulfur source. For that we are going to prepare solution D where thiurea acts as a sulfur source to which EDTA is added and this EDTA is going to act as a complexing agent which slows down the process and helps in uniform deposition of thin film. And here again using ammonium hydroxide, pH is maintained to 12, which can be checked using pH paper. And finally, solution B is added to solution A, that is solution containing the sulfur source is added to the solution containing cadmium source. Then thoroughly cleaned and dried glass slide is inserted in this reaction mixture and is kept for heating on the heater. Here it is a magnetic stirrer where only heating is done and we are not using the stirrer here. Then for the deposition of the thin film, the ideal temperature was found to be almost around 70 degrees Celsius. So we need to wait till then where eventually we can observe the color change and this serious thin film is doped with copper source that is copper chloride and also another thin film we have prepared using cobalt source that is by doping cobalt source that is cobalt chloride in the same procedure. So these dopants were added to the solution A and then solution B was mixed. We have already studied different parameters which are going to decide the uniformity of the thin film and here we can observe with respect to change in temperature what all changes can happen. So the temperature change can be measured using a thermometer. So all three solutions were CDS, cobalt dope CDS as well as copper dope CDS are kept on the same stirrer to observe the changes with respect to some comparisons. So with respect to increase in temperature, we can observe there is a gradual change in color. So the colorless solution is going to change into pale yellow color, then lemon yellow and finally dark yellow color. So when dopants are added, even the color change is little bit varying. So this color change is showing the change in the particle size, which means there is a change in properties. Especially, we can observe the quantum confinement effect. So that we will understand when we go for characterization. But this color change where the particle size is going to decrease, it implies that energy gap of this semiconductor that is CDS is also going to change. So after the reaction, the glass light was removed and washed thoroughly and dried up and we can observe how uniformly the deposition has taken place and even it is transparent and highly reflective. 
So as such, Sirius is a yellow thin film, whereas Copper Dope thin film has a little bit of greenish blue color, and Cobalt Dope shows somewhat reddish color on the yellow thin film. And also we have found that when we dope Sirius, we are getting comparatively better uniformity of the thin films. So this is how the deposition has been carried out using chemical bar deposition method. And one side of the thin film was cleaned using diluted acid and finally it was sent for characterization like XRD, absorption etc. to know comparatively what is the effect of doping on CDS thin film. So this is a short video on the work carried out by my students which came out really nice and hopefully they also could study many things regarding this. So see you in our next class. Till then stay tuned, work well and thank you for watching.